30 years ago, which is 1990, 2% of Air Force pilots were African American. Judge how fast you're going, whether you upside down or wings level. Today, 2% of Air Force pilots are African American. George London retired from a 17 year long career as a physics teacher at Bishop McNamara High School in Forestville, Maryland. But he also lived a life many of his students may not have been aware of. London is a decorated military officer and one of the first Black Air Force test pilots. My goal has always been to help other young people, especially in aviation. Well, during the four years I was instructor in pilot training, I never had a black student. Very few came through. Um, Why do you think that was? My feelings are that the Tuskegee Airmen were so successful over the years that uh, at a time, white America was saying, we can't let that happen again. After 31 years of service, London dedicated his life to teaching. 2004, I started teaching full time in McNamara. In 2007, I met Mr. London for the very first time. I was 13 years old and he was my high school freshman physics teacher. At the time, I had no idea that I was in the presence of a living black history figure. I only knew him to be humble, smart, and a math whiz who was able to make physics fun for a bunch of teenagers. Someone said on Facebook, we were in physics class, my classmates were struggling, but it's so great to know you had Mr. London as your physics teacher. That's my reward. That's my reward. Watching young people become successful. People said, well, Mr. London, when are you retired? I said, I'm retired. I retired from the military, now I'm a retired teacher. Uh, so I'm retired. But no, 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 no. When you retire, retire. The answer to that, retirement is not in his vocabulary. In 2010, he founded a flight school in Fort Washington, Maryland, where he's training the next generation of black pilots. 18-year-old William Moore Jr. is one of them. When he printed off the document and I had to sign it, I was like, I'm a pilot now. And I was like, I did it! I was like so happy inside. And um, it, it was one of those moments where it's like, if I can feel this way when I pass a check right, there's other kids out there that can feel the exact same way too. Any last words of advice for your student? No, no, not at all. He knows what he's doing. He checked the weather already and got to know them. And then I'll give you the flight briefing as far as the interior goes. Flight instruments are set. One, four. Flight controls are free and clear. Left, right, back. Four. Finals clear. Runway's clear. Power looks good. And we're climbing out at 78. How was it your first time up here by yourself without an instructor? Uh, so my first time up here was a solo. I had to solo to uh, an airport over there called Two Whiskey Five, Maryland. And then I, after a while, I started building this confidence. And um, before you knew it, I was fine with bringing people like you. That's one of the things that I enjoy about flying is once you build that confidence, you're good to go. It's not always about basketball and football. Like, try this out. You know, have you ever flown a plane before? Wow. That was, to bravo me, that was very that. smooth. I would say bravo. So, sure. so, bravo. When I was talking to myself, that was me imitating Colonel London. He was strict, but he was the coolest instructor that you can have. Like, serious when you need to be serious, but fun to keep you from stressing out. Take the toolbar out. Moore plans to become an Air Force pilot or a commercial pilot, and London is going to help him get there. He's gifting the teenager with one of his personal planes. By teaching high school for the past 17 years, um, money wasn't what it was about, because I took a $130,000 pay cut when I started teaching high school. But it was about teaching people and getting excited seeing them learn, and that's what still excites me today. For black kids, the sky is no longer the limit. They are soaring up and beyond with the help of retired Lieutenant Colonel George London. It's a mindset he wishes to pass on to all his students. Help somebody. So that's what I'm telling you and everyone else, help someone. In Fort Washington, J.C. Whittington, WUSA 9.